are you getting this 404 not found error anytime you install a php script or even on a wordpress website if your answer to this question is yes then i have the solution for you because i also came across it i was installing a certain script i finished with the installation and now boom but i was able to solve that problem to resolve the problem so i'll be able to help you out okay so just watch till the end okay so in order to solve this problem there's a file called .htaccess it's a file that communicates to the what your server okay so that file is responsible for your your filing system or your file system on your website so the file the web server has no idea where your website files are so that's just all you need to do something to your HT access file okay so if it's a WordPress website that you are getting this error please in the description of this video you're going to see a link that will take you to this particular page this page please just copy from the beginning here to at the end just copy it like this please this video is for any web every website not only wordpress websites okay so i'm going to cover the two cases wordpress website php websites all right it's going to work for any sort of website you have after successfully copying that code go to file manager please go to wherever you have your script installed in my case i have it installed inside demo 2 okay so i'll double click to open this particular directory next go to settings make sure show hidden files is enabled and then click save please check if you have ht access file if you don't have it go ahead and create one i have it but i will assume you don't have it so we're going to create a file called ht access so you simply click here file and you put dot and then you put ht access after that click on create new file because I have it, I'm not going to click on that. If I do, I'm going to have a duplicate. So next, we are going to open this HT access file. So simply click on it once to highlight it and then click on edit. Please go ahead and click on edit again. And here we have it. Please leave some room and then paste the code we just copied. So you paste it here. After pasting it, click on save and this is going to resolve your problem if it's a WordPress website. Now let's assume this is a what PHP site. How do we solve it? You just bought purchase a script on code kernel and then during the installation process everything went seamlessly well with it but after the installation you are getting this error how do we resolve this problem please the script you purchase will come with its own .hc access file so i'm going inside that file so i'll simply take you there this is where i have it please i assume this is your script so after unzipping it we navigate inside and then we continue going in and then we're going to have a file here which is .ht access so this is going to be the file .ht access every script come with this particular thing okay so just double click on it to open good this is the code please highlight everything you select everything and then hold ctrl c Please don't cut it, copy it. After copying it, go back to our file manager. 
our ht access file so we assume it's a wordpress sorry a php website so we remove this and then we replace that with the one we just copied from our other ht access from the what the script after that go ahead and click on save changes excellent now let's go ahead and reload the website and this is going to what resolve so control r which is reload and wait and here we go okay i have a poor internet connection excellent okay so i hope this video has helped you solve your resolve your problem if you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel because i'm releasing a video shortly that will show you how you can create your own audio mac website okay a music website hoping to see you there take care